Hello guys, today I want to show you a quick example how to generate a simple admin panel with help of our quick admin panel tool. As an example, I can take a project called Laranser, which we have generated with our team uh, with our quick admin panel and it's available for free on GitHub. That's a screenshot of the project, but the code is here, the, you can see the URL, you can clone, commit, uh, do whatever. And I will just show it show you how to generate a similar project with our quick admin panel. Now let's go to quickadminpanel.com and let's create our project. Let's call it Lorancer test. Um, there are some settings here but let's leave them as default ones. And the system is creating our quick admin panel. It's actually generating Laravel files in the background. And there you go. There is some some text information but I'll skip it for now and here you have your menu management. As a default Laravel admin panel you get user management inside that panel which consists of roles, users and user log actions. And now let's create CRUDs one by one. So let's get back to this Laurencer screenshot and what do we see here? There are some a dozen of menu items. Let's start with settings because without settings you cannot actually create more, uh, more data. So settings is a parent menu item, uh, let's call it settings and let's leave the icon the same. Uh, here we go, here it is the settings, you can actually change the, uh, the order of, of CRUDs. Uh, so settings, but it doesn't appear here in the left menu item yet uh, because it doesn't have any children. Yeah. So let's create one. The first one is currencies. So we want to manage currencies and it's a CRUD menu item. Uh, form is a little more complicated but not that much. So you choose a title, uh, you choose an icon. From what I remember it's FA money and parent menu item is settings. And let's leave those as default and let's add fields. One field for currency is probably code, which is like USD, EUR, GBP, whatever you need. Uh, and uh, whether it's main currency or not uh, within our system, uh, let's put it as a checkbox. Main currency, which is by default unchecked. And we save changes, and then after that, we save the whole CRUD at the bottom. It's creating the CRUD with menu item on the left, and you see the list of what's being generated, what files, and now on the left, you can see settings, currencies. And you can actually, here online at quickadminpanel.com, you can actually uh, add the data. You can add USD as a main currency, uh, then GBP, for example, and others. And main yes or no. Let's continue. Let's move on. Another menu item is transaction types. Transaction types. Uh, let's get back to menu management. Or you can click CRUD menu item just here, at CRUD menu item, transaction types. Uh, from what I remember, it's exchange icon and parent is the same settings. And for transaction types, we only need the title. So title. Okay, save changes and save CRUD. Five more seconds to wait while the file has been generated all the files and on the left now we see two menu sub items and this way one by one you generate all the cards all the menu items i won't show you everything today all the items because it would take like 20 minutes i don't want to take too much of your time so let's move to the uh, to the most important ones clients and projects uh, by showing clients and projects menu items i want to show you the relationship how the relationships work because without uh, project without client you cannot really save the project so let's create client first quick create menu items clients for example icon of a user uh, no parent and let's stick with one field first name save changes and save quick Again, it's been generated. Yeah, there you go, clients. And now we create CRUD menu item projects. 
uh, for example, briefcase icon and admin item project title, of course, uh, title, uh, save changes, and then add another field. And now it's a relationship. Belongs to relationship to client. So we have field key client here, label client, and then we choose relationship model basically menu item or crud we choose clients and we choose which field to show in the table we have only one field so nothing to choose from but in general you can choose save changes and we save the crud and again some five seconds to it's, it's actually generating quite a lot as you can see models rules use everything so uh, let's try to create a client for example um, not a client like Jeff Bezos, for example. Uh, and now let's create a project. While creating a project, you can choose from the clients here. And you can add one by one. So again, this way you create CRUD after CRUD. And in this case, in case of Laurencer, everything here uh, uh, in that project was generated with help of quick admin except for one menu item which is reports which you can see here on the screen so that is custom code so of course quick admin doesn't really know what custom code and what custom reports you need so uh, you can generate menu item uh, which you can generate let me show you you can generate non crud menu item like reports reports uh, which will just show you menu item with a simple custom controller so after download you will have uh, the controller the view and then you can put your custom code in there so after you've done all of that you can download the admin panel like full lateral project to use so you don't need any packages for that you can view files or download it as a premier, premium user here, I download it for free, but uh, usually the price is $9.99 per project. And I will show you how to use the downloaded admin panel. I click download. It's downloading the file. I unarchive. Our answer test. Uh, let's put it into, a, into my folder, which is already... Uh, I will rename that just kind of ready and then let's go to terminal I've already SSH'd into my homestead uh, and what do we need to do here so we have downloaded project of course we need to uh, change our env file credentials so we copy env example actually I can show you in PHP storm uh, this is how it looks so you have all the generated project here with all the files with http with routes with resources with views everything everything you need so uh, including env example now we've copied that into dot env and let's put the credentials for the correct database which i prepared called larencer yep actually i probably need to delete the tables from that because I've been testing before uh, yeah, delete everything so we have fresh database uh, then we run composer install it should probably be pretty quick because it's loading everything from the cache because I've been installing it testing for a while meanwhile we can take a look at the code so uh, in HTTP controllers you should have probably clients controller so that's how it looks basically it generates all the Laravel code so everything we've just generated online uh, you download as this then you can change anything you can move something that's the model example let's look at our composer install almost done um, then example model like for example not model view sorry project it's a simple bootstrap so if you want to change anything in uh, in front end you can only change css so there's no hard coded css here it's just uh, bootstrap so if you want to change the classes feel free and let's get back to the 
terminal composer installed done now we have to um, uh, migrate with seed I will show you why uh, this is what's been generated and also we need to generate the key and we're good to go I've prepared a local domain here uh, dev and the default login is admin admin com with password password and what we can see here we have empty dashboard and we have all the things that you've generated online user management of course and then settings with those two clients projects and reports including all the data that you had entered online so those two clients that one project uh, should be there with Facebook, yeah, currency, USD, and all of that. So that's how easily you can generate add in panel. Uh, it took like, what, 10 minutes to, for me? And I could do it quicker, uh, but yeah, I'm telling you that. Uh, meanwhile, so yeah, so 10 minutes max. Uh, for all that project, it could take like half an hour maybe, but that will save you like hours or even days of time to actually code it or copy and paste it from other project. So I hope that's helpful and I see you all in other videos for our quick admin panel.